Hey there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to use the Knit Surface tool to join our surfaces together or knit them together. As you remember, we've got two separate surfaces in the graphic area. Let's activate the Knit Surface command. Here it is. Our first job is to select the faces we want to knit together. Let's take a look at the gap control area. If we've got small gaps less than 0.1 millimeters, SolidWorks is going to fill them automatically if the gap control option is active. If your surfaces overlap, you can check the Merge Entities option here. Then SolidWorks will merge your overlapping surfaces. Let's accept at this point, and we'll check out another example. I'm going to create a new part document. Now let's right click and insert a sketch on the top plane. I'll create a simple surface. Exit, planar surface. Sketch one is pre-selected. Let's accept. Zoom to fit. Let's create a gap now. Here I'll demonstrate a simple example of how to work with a gap. Let's apply smart dimensions. You remember I mentioned the gap has got to be 0.1 millimeters or less. OK. And let's exit the sketch. We'll activate the Trim Surface command. Sketch 2 is already pre-selected. Selections to keep. And accept. So now we've ended up with a small gap. Let's activate the Knit Surface command. Select the surfaces to knit together. The Gap Control option is checked, and here's our gap. You see it down here, Gap 1. We've got to make sure that the box next to this gap is checked. If we uncheck and try to click OK, we're going to get an error message. There's no edges to knit. So let's go ahead and check the gap, and then click Accept. And now we end up with a single surface with two faces. Let's right click on Surface Knit 1, Edit Feature. This time I'm going to check the Merge Entities option and click OK. Now SolidWorks merges the two faces into one single continuous face. This concludes our overview of how to knit surfaces. We'll see you back in a moment. 